Another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, we prepare for next gen. Ah, uh, yeah. It's been a while since we last spoke. I mean, it hasn't been too long. We took a quick week off for holiday, but we're back to the grind. There's a bit to catch up on. Since the last twab, new exotics have been discovered throughout Europa. Banji has found new memories. The Deep Stone Crypt has been infiltrated, and a dinosaur was sent into space. Quite a few of you have been asking about race statistics. It's always fun seeing how many players took on the challenge for completion the first week. We dug through our databases and found some fun stats to share, and we're happily surprised by how many of you completed your first ever jacket quest. So first up, unique raid activity clears. Last wish, four. Holy crap. <laughs> four? Really? Again, these are the day one stats. Garden of Salvation, 551. And Deep Stone Crypt, 29,814. Holy hell. Now, launch plus 10 day stats. Last wish was 3,500. These are activity clears. Garden of Salvation was 33,000. Deep Stone Crypt was over 250,000. Jesus. Fun fact, over 979,680 guardians unlocked the lament quest since the quest went live. That's a lot of sword damage. Oh my god. Bungie is just flexing on us right now. AKA Beyond Light did pretty good. Now the elephant in the room is obviously raid difficulty and I gotta say the deep stone crypt was really tough up into the second encounter and then after that it was just pretty easy. Nothing was really trying to just take our head off. In previous raids everything could pretty much wreck you especially on contest mode even now when we mess up in our ray clears and i gotta just sit there and wait for some ads to kill me they take forever they like don't even know i'm there they hit me with their knife or they shoot me with a gun and then all of a sudden they just kind of like quit shooting or quit knifing me there is some level of difficulty i would like to see at least in some sort of toggle function for our raids for maybe increased loot but it's not really a loot issue to me it really is a difficulty issue right now we're living in a sandbox where we have the most open OP builds ever. War mod cells, charged with light, raid mods, some of the deadliest exotics we've ever laid our hands on. Yet for some reason, the AI is just kind of stupid, at least in regards to the raid. But moving on, light keepers. Earlier this week, we kicked off our game to give light keepers charity initiative. And to no one's surprise, the Destiny community has shown up in force. At the time of writing this twop, you've already raised above $450,000. And we're still in the first week. Our overall goal is to raise. 2 million and we're well on our way. We also announced our charity milestone rewards, one of which you've already unlocked. In case you missed it, say hello to the concept art of our upcoming Donning 2020 Titan Universal Ornaments. Ah, oh, yeah. That's got Donning written all over it. Quite sexy, yeah. Very similar to, to previous Donning looks, but you know, they kind of normally married themselves up to the same look year over year, just with different color schemes. Looks nice, though. Now, for those that want to chip into this charity event, it really does go to a good cause, guys. We also have some other incentives. For 500k, we get to see the Donning 2020 Warlock Universal Ornaments. 750k, we get to see the Hunter. 1 million, we get to see the Legendary Reward Preview. And every 100k after that, we get a Guest Lore Reading. Feel free to check that out, guys. Either way it goes, good stuff. I'm sure we're going to get a Donning trailer next week. And of course, the event, I think, kicks off on the 15th of this month. Now, moving on, Return of the Banner. With the raid done and dusted, Lord Saladin is ready to get Guardians back into Iron Banner. This will be the first Iron Banner to feature stasis powers. So we're all excited for what's to come. For new lights out there, Iron Banner is a limited time 6vc crucible activity with power enabled combat. While artifact power is disabled, you'll want to infuse and equip your most powerful gear before jumping in. Similar to control, there are three zones on the map for your team to capture. The more zones you hold, the more points you get when defeating guardians. If your team is brave enough to capture all three zones, the opposing team will be locked out of capturing zones for a short duration. I don't even know why I'm reading all of this. It's control, boys. It, it pretty much is control with a twist as it has lockout. It's also really easy to mercy people in Iron Banner. Now, Lord Saladin will be found in the tower, offering Iron Banner bounties with pinnacle power rewards. And if you like to get some good loot that has that Iron Banner theme, shabam! Look at that! Oh, it looks sexy. We also have two weapons returning to us with new random rolls. One of them being the Scout Rifle, which Scout Rifles feel so much better in the sandbox. The other, the hand Cannon. Do not sleep on either one of these weapons, especially Steady Hand. Like, I'm sure Guiding Sight's probably going to be decent. It is a 150, 
but the one I'm really going to be looking at is Steady Hand as it can roll with things like Quick Draw, making this 120 round per minute hand cannon feel a lot more fluid. Now, unfortunately, it is the same gun model as like True Prophecy. And dudes, I don't, I don't know what the deal is. 120s outside of Sturm just have some really funky recoil, especially like True Prophecy, right? Like Bungie, I don't know what y'all did to 120s, but they feel weird. Even at 105 field of view, I feel like an earthquake is taking place every time I shoot my hand cannon. But those weapons will be dropping next week, December 8th. Should be fun. Stasis is going to be a beautiful thing to behold inside of Iron Banner. I can't wait. Now, moving on. It's all in the patch notes. December 8th can't come soon enough. In just a few short days, next generation enhancements will be coming to Destiny 2. In case you miss our next gen article, here's a quick refresher of the update coming next week. Look at this, man. Yeah, I actually want to go through this one more time because I completely glossed over the 120 hertz crucible support, which will be coming to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, 4K resolution, 60 frames per second, field of view sliders, cross generation play, looking mighty sexy, guys. Immediately, we're going to be reviewing it on consoles next week. For my console players that are wondering what world they're about to experience, it will be amazing. I can promise you, you're going to be like, wow, I completely understand why so many people went to PC. And you're probably going to see a huge migration of PC players potentially going back to console. We'll see though. Now, Destiny 2 update 3.0.1 has a bit more under the hood. The team has been working on some bug fixes for issues found around launch, but we also have a few promises to keep. So let's dig in. First up, Dungeons, Prophecy. The Prophecy Dungeon will be returning to Destiny 2 on December 8th. Hell yes, this in-game activity is free to all players. Powerful rewards may be earned from each checkpoint once per week. Players may complete the dungeon once per week to obtain pinnacle power rewards. Previously featured weapons and armor rewards are available once more. Moving on to the Destiny Companion app, Bounties. Beginning next week, players may acquire bounties from Destiny 2 vendors using the Destiny 2 Companion app. Bounties may only be acquired when players are offline, in orbit, or in the tower. This will be introduced through the Companion app update, which is planned for December 8th, 2020. Stay tuned at Bungie Help. That is a big one. You don't have to go to the tower anymore, guys. Holy hell. I love how they do this right as next-gen consoles launch and everybody has faster load times. It's like, yay, you got faster load times so you can get to the tower in like 10 seconds, but you don't even have to go there no more. New Light, resolved issues. Fix an issue with New Light subclass quest where a course waypoint was suppressed. Fix an issue where veteran players with two characters of the same class were blocked from acquiring their subclasses. Fix an issue where a step on the New Light pursuit was not granting experience. Fix an issue where players who skipped the shotgun chest in the first mission did not receive special ammo when the shotgun was granted. Now the Monuments to Lost Light fix an issue where the waypoint on the exotic archive vendor continues to flash for players who own all the exotics. Now collections, badges and armor in collections correctly select player's class. Fix an issue where the UI would forget which page the player was on after previewing an item in collections. Fix the bug where some new armor mods had incorrect sources listed in collections. As for the Crucible, updated the mercy rule for controlling class to prevent it from triggering too early in the match. Yes, that was a bug. Thank God. Fix an issue where the survivor medal could be awarded to players who were defeated during the round. Oh, no, no, no. You don't just get free medals in this game, man. Fix an issue where the untouchable medal could not be earned. Moving on to the Beyond Light exotics that also have bugs. Icefall medal fixed a bug where the Icefall medal's description did not mention the slow field it generates when activated. Hmm. Okay. Mask of Backers improved the readability of the visual effects when another player wearing Mask of Backers shifts directly towards you. Updated the description string of Mask of Backers perk to correctly describe its damage bonus, which applies only to combatants and affects all arc weapon damage and all damage against slowed or encased enemies. Additionally, fix an issue where this damage bonus was applying to players who are slowed or encased in Crucible and Gambit. Damn it, boys. Necrotic Grip. Fix an issue where being killed by the effects of Necrotic Grip would show as being killed by the architects. Oh, thank God. I saw Necrotic Grip, man. I started getting worried. Looks like we're good, boys. So those are your bug fixes. Thank God. Especially the Mercy Rule one. We do have a number of upcoming resolved issues that I guess will be patched in a future update. Probably the biggest one on this list 
list for me is the fact that the adored sniper rifle cannot be reacquired from collections on top of that we have a number and i mean a number of known issues here that i'm not going to read through every single one of these now for trials it was not mentioned in the twab but bungie help did put out a tweet that the team has identified the issue and is currently developing a future hot fix trials of osiris is currently planned to return on december the 18th just in time for christmas but i will say man over a month without trials that's a big yikes at the same time we went like a whole year and a half without trials so it's kind of like whatever for me however i do want those adept weapons man like i want a bat regardless though guys next week will be a big big week the next gen update the bump there in frame rates 120 hertz inside of crucible oh i can't wait now as a final note from dmg next week will be our final twab of the year we're entering a period where many of our employees will be spending time with family celebrating the end of the year and recharging for what's to come in 2021 we'll still be around to respond to your feedback process bug reports and keep the servers running now it's time for me to raid looking for a better role on my trusty scout rifle from the deep stone crypt any suggestions yo dmg i got you baby them high impact reserves dude get that sexy four tap all right guys wow next week will be the last twop that's crazy i really do hope trials does come back december the 18th but understand there are people out there that they live and breathe breaking this game like i know i make jokes about breaking crucible but there are people out there that have a knack for finding crazy broken bucks i urge those people to withhold themselves allow for trials to return to us on december the 18th because lord knows if there is one more bug found in regards to stasis and crucible we won't get trials back until 2021 so please for the love of god withhold yourself fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right